Okay, now we are going to create some files, navigate and edit source code. So we are still under developer console basics. If you're following the trail all the way from the developer beginner trail, you've pretty much done all of this. We've done this before. So this particular section, I think is supposed to be placed before we've done the previous ones we've already done. But consider this as a refresher if you haven't actually gone through the whole trail from developer beginner. But if you were following the whole trail with me as we go along, you've already done this, but we are going to still do the refresher. Okay, so in this video, we are going to create an Apex class, execute the Apex code, create a lightning component, create a visual force page. So the purpose is just to see how to use the developer console. We won't be discussing all the classes, all the logic of the code or everything here, but we're just gonna see how you can actually create this on a developer console. Let's go ahead and launch it. So I'm gonna click on my icon here, pop up my hands on org and launch my developer beginner playground and then launch my developer console from the uh, gear icon and then developer console. <clears throat> I'm gonna close the previous ones we've done from the previous section. So let's go ahead and start creating some files. First, an Apex class, okay? So basically I'm gonna copy this, no, copy the name first, email mission specialist. So flip back to my developer console, file, new, Apex, class. Put the name there, email mission specialist. And I'm just gonna copy the whole code there, boom. Boom. And you can see the whole thing is copied there. I'm gonna save this. All right, we've done that. So now, uh, let's see what's next. We have just created an Apex class, right? We saved that already. Um, I just did, I just go too quick because we've done this so many times on the previous one. So I was just using command S to save it, right? So if I make a modification on any file, you see the star here appear. This means this file is modified and it's not been saved yet. So if you, whenever you see a star, you need to save the file. Either you can do file, save or just control s or if, or if you're on a mac like me command s see saving and then the star is gone then you're safe the file is safe okay all right so let's open uh, that class we just create so to open a class we can use the, the file open or open resources so if i flip back here i'm gonna close here so file open classes um, and then you can search here it's email something right email mission specialist so you can click on there and open that and there we go this is the file we just created that's how you open a file you can also from file open resources instead just open and then you can choose or even search here mail or email email mission something here and then just double click or hit open here, the same thing. It's gonna open the file again. So let's go flip back. That's how you open classes or any other files, all right? Now we can execute an Apex class, not a class or anything you wanna execute um, an Apex code. So I'm gonna copy this. So to do that, go to your developer console and then you go um, debug, open execute anonymous window or you can hit control e or command e for your uh, shortcut so if i click here it's opening the code like that you can you can resize it you know and then this is floating around there and you can paste the code and if you want to see the log and see the debug log you check that and if you execute this well we have an error, oh yeah, invalid email address. We need to put something here. This is student, 
I feel like this we've done this before. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's just do it again. Practice makes perfect, right? So I'm gonna execute this. And now it's actually doing it. This is the log. So this is the log when you're debugging. You can also check the debug only. See, email sent successfully. If you uncheck that, you're gonna see the whole thing, what's going on in the background. All right, so debug only is helpful and you can ex um, output any system debug information you want on your code here. The system.debug here, this is what's causing it. This is your own, if you wanna you know, troubleshoot or debug your codes, do a bunch of system debugs so you know, oh, this code ran, this code ran and so forth, right? All right, so let's move on. Create Aura components. So Aura components, same thing. Now file, new lightning component. And then we can say meet, greet. So developer, let me just close this and close that. File, new lightning component. The name is meet, greet. So what do we have there? Uh, meet, greet. All right, and just leave it, leave everything probably empty. And just hit submit there. Okay, so you can see this is the actual component. You can open the controller over here. It's gonna open pop up the JS, the JavaScript controller. You can start coding there. And on the helper file, the style, the style sheet, the doc, the doc file documentation, the renderer, the design, the SVG. This is a whole different discussion on how to build our components, which I believe we would have um, a dedicated trail to, you know, have fun with this. This is the fun stuff, right? Now it's still introduction. So that's how you create our component. So you can save that. And then I've just shown you all the tabs there. If you click on this um, navigation and then you can um, file open lightning resources. You can also open it from there. That's it, all right, that's our components. So now we can create visual force page. So let's create this guy, flight system checklist. I'm gonna just close everything here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, it's not clear. New visual force page, okay. Fit flight systems check. So this is how you create the visual force page. We can copy the code from here and paste it here. Now I'm gonna save, see the star. When I save command S or control S, saving, wait, now it's gone. So it's good. If you see problems here, it's not going to be safe until you solve all the problems, all right? So, oh, you can preview, of course. It's a visual force page, you can preview it Boom, it goes into my other screen. There you go. Engine one, check. Engine two, check, and so on. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty nice. And let's go back here. Um, yeah, and then you, go, you can open it again, file open pages, same thing. This is pretty basic, right? File open or resource, or not resource, file open, and then you can choose the entity type, which is a page here. Uh, oh, where is it? Oh, we have a filter. Remember that, I'm gonna delete that. So, flight something, flight. See, now you can double click and open it. So there you have it. Now, that's how you navigate throughout the developer console. Now do the hands-on challenge. Um, this is, let's just separate this on a separate video, all right? I'll see you on the next video, boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it.
don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom Thank <laughs> you.